Hi there. Uh, my name is Brenda Bailey, and I'm going to be your instructor for the 0930 class this semester. Uh, I wanted to go over the syllabus to begin with. So here, um, this is in your modules. And just had to press the, the syllabus. Now, it's a four credit class, and it is going to be online, asynchronous. Asynchronous means that we will not be meeting as a class on Zoom. What I've done and what I'm going to do is create videos for you to watch whenever you can. And then um, you'll do the assignments. The videos are not required. And again, I'll be talking about that later in another video on exactly how to navigate Canvas and Pearson, the online math um, platform. But it is asynchronous, so we will not be meeting at a certain time as a class on Zoom. Now, my office is in the Whitney Building, room 206. I'm not there um, very often. So the best way to get a hold of me if you need help is with my cell phone. You can uh, give me a text, your name, which class you're in, and at some point we can meet. Now, if you're in Sheridan, we can always meet um, here on the campus. If you're not in Sheridan, then we can definitely meet over Zoom and try to get any questions you may have um, answered for you. So again, the best way to get a hold of me is my cell. However, email is also an option. I don't check my email as much as I do the cell, but again, I, I really try to respond as quickly as I can because I understand sometimes these questions can be frustrating. You don't know how to do them. And so I, you know, I want to work with you as much as, as much as possible. Office hours. I'm an adjunct teacher, which means I have other jobs. I'm not a full-time math teacher there at the college, but I do, and I try to get into the math center, and the math center is in the Whitney building here on the Sheridan campus. It has, um, it, it's, um, it's a great place. It's a great tutoring source for those of you that need it. You don't have to go when I'm there. You can go when other teachers are there, but we have we man it with teachers or sometimes there's um, student tutors there as well to help you on any questions you may have um, on your math assignments. Also by appointment, you know, I'm gonna try to be as flexible as possible to help you and to be available for you. Now this YouTube channel, it's, uh, I put it here in the syllabus, even though you, you may not need it because I link in Canvas each of the videos separately and it takes you to the YouTube channel on how to do this particular assignment. Also in the modules, you'll notice on the on, when you click into the modules, I have my Zoom link there as well, but I also put it here in case you need to meet on Zoom. So... All righty. Now, a lot of this you guys can just kind of go through on your own. Um, I just wanted to hit some of the highlights that you might be concerned about. Okay, textbook and materials. First off, you do not have to buy the hard copy of the textbook. What you do have to buy is access into Pearson. Pearson um, is an online platform that we use in most of all the math classes. It is required, and you have an e-text embedded in the platform access that you're going to get. And so if you don't mind using an e-text, you can click on, you know, e, um, within the problems itself, and I'll be explaining this in, in, in another video on how to use Pearson. But if you click on it, it'll take you to the page in the textbook that deals with the problem that you're on. So that's kind of nice. There, there, there's a lot of positives about Pearson, even though um, there are some, some negatives, which we'll talk about. Now, uh, so in or, so the, the access that you have to do, I have made a video on how to get the access. And I've also given you a page on how to get the access. So both ways in, in, order, in order to get that required access. So here, let's see, we've got um, some of the competencies that we'll be doing in the class. You can kind of look through those. Uh, of course, you know, academic honesty is always important. Now, when it comes to grading the tests, um, we have five tests and the final. 
So six in total, they're 50% of your grade. The homework is 40% and we'll have a quiz is worth 10%. Now I kind of keep this in mind that if you decide not to do any of the homework and all you want to do are tests and quizzes, that's all you're going to do. Well, the best you're going to get is a 60% in the class, which isn't enough. So you are going to have to do the homework and, um, you know, this, um, sometimes I teach an eight week course and this is 15 weeks. So you should have plenty of time for the, um, for, for the homework. So ma make sure you're doing the homework and we'll be talking about how to find your grade, you know, and, and, and that's always available to you real time. Your grade is in Pearson and we'll talk about that, but just be aware, you know, you've got the tests, uh, 50%. All the tasks in the final is embedded in that 50%. The homework, 40%, and the quiz is 10%. I grade 90, 80, 70, 60, kind of straight across. And going back to the tests, I'll go ahead and talk about this right now. Your tests, I'm going to give you two chances on each test. And Pearson will automatically take the best of the two chances. We will be using what's called a lockdown browser called Respondus. And if you have a Chromebook, you're going to have to find another computer to take your tests on because it will not work with Chromebook. Respondus doesn't unless they they found a way around that and fixed that um, little snap in their in their program. But um, otherwise, you can always use a you can always check out a computer at the library. You can use the ones in the math center, but um, they they won't. So you're not going to have to make appointments in the math or sorry in the testing center to take your tests. I'm going to go ahead and let you do that whenever you can because some people work and it's not really convenient to make an appointment in the math center or sorry I keep saying math center in the um in the in a testing center somewhere. So I'm trying to make it as convenient for you as possible. And again, you'll have two chances on those quizzes. Um, I'll, I'm gonna give you three chances on a quiz in order to get uh, uh, the, the grade you'd like to have. And when you, after a test, if you took a test and let's say you got a 60% on it, you can contact me and we'll go through your mistakes and then you can take it again. The numbers will be different, but the basic test will be the same. I just want you to learn as much as possible so that when you do take your 1400 or whatever class you have next, it's not impossible. All right. So we're trying to um, get you ready for those next levels. Okay. And my math up. Okay. I want to stress the fact that when we get to this course outline here, that it's tentative. So again, you know, things, things are going to be kind of dynamic here. They'll be moving and I'll, and I'll try to stick as close as possible. But what it does is it gives you an idea of what we're talking about. You know, first off, we're going to talk about chapters three and eight, and then we'll take a test and then we'll have, you know, chapters four and nine and um, five and six. So, you know, the, the exact dates may not be correct, but it, it, it'll be fairly close for you on that. All right. Well, that pretty much covers the syllabus. So um, the next video is on how to register for Pearson. Now, this this video that I made was actually for another class, but it's exactly the same except for the course ID number. And um, so it, just just be aware that in the video, don't use that course ID number. Use the one that's on your paper. That I, and it'll also use the one here. Let me let me look at that real quick. Let's look at your modules and how it's going to look. Um, this right here is where I'm working, and you're gonna um, you're gonna watch um, how to register with Pearson. It's a video. Your course ID number is different than in the video. Um, see below. So this is actually your course number, but when in the video um, in the video it's a different one. But here. That would be the course ID number. So it, it it it'll all work out when you when you click when you click on this to get into your um, course. It'll automatically use the correct ID number for you. I hope it's not going to be too confusing. All right. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you um, in uh, the next video on how to use Pearson. And then I'll be doing some others. Oh, and also the Zoom link is right here. The Zoom link for the um, any um, help or any meetings you need. All right.
Thank you.